Okay, guys, here we go. This is a uh, customer request video, RM Italy KL703, one of the big boys from uh, RM Italy. Um, I don't normally do videos on RM Italy stuff because the larger amps come sealed up and taped uh, more times than not. I think almost every one of them I've ever had was taped. Uh, so I don't like breaking the seal unless uh, someone requests it. And then the 203 amps, uh, they're just, you know, they're small, uh, relatively inexpensive, and I ship out a lot of them. So I would be flooding the YouTube channel uh, with those guys if I, if I did a video on every single one of them. Uh, but this is one of the bigger ones from RM Italy. Uh, very nice amp. Um, it comes with paperwork, which I recommend everybody reading. I'll uh, cover a couple of things in that here in a second. Uh, nice little booklet that comes with it. This one is for Terry. Uh, he requested me to do a video on it, which I have absolutely no problem with. Uh, I don't charge people to do videos unless it's, you know, something insane you're wanting me to do. Uh, but I don't think I've ever charged anybody to do a, a video. Um, so there's no charge for this. Uh, has a preamp on it. You can probably hear the static come up in my radio. Excellent preamp. I could actually hear some of my locals on a dummy load a second ago. Uh, some of them that were like 10 miles away, I could faintly hear them with a preamp on. So it's got a really good preamp. Uh, amp on and off. You can run the amp uh, section without the preamp or run the preamp without the amp. High, medium, and low. Uh, AM and FM uh, mode operation. Um, and then sideband down here. And putting it on sideband kicks your delay in. Um, input power on this thing. I want to cover that real quick. A lot of people ask, they say, uh, well, you tested on AM. Why didn't you show what it does on sideband? I get that comment more times than not. Um, so here's the deal. 35 watts PEP or peak power. That's your forward modulated power, your peak power. Uh, a lot of people call it swing. It doesn't matter whether you're on sideband or whether you're on AM. If your radio does 35 watts peak on AM, and it also does 35 watts peak on sideband, this amplifier doesn't know the difference. It's going to do the same output. And just to back up what I'm saying here, some people may disagree with that or may dispute that with me. I want to show you the booklet from RM Italy. You see where it says input RF power, 1 to 35 watts max, all modes. So what they're telling you is, the maximum input you can put into this thing is one being the lowest, which it won't do jack crap with one watt going in, to 35 watts max PEP. Now, it doesn't say PEP, but that's what they're referring to. Now, there's a difference between carrier and dead key and peak output. You wouldn't want to key 35 watts dead key into this thing, okay? On sideband, you have no dead key, so you don't have to worry about that. Dead key, you want to put around 2 watts max into this thing. Um, and that's something you only have to worry about on AM mode, basically. Um, so anyway, I just want to get into that. One more thing I want to show in the paperwork. Um, let's see if I can find where it says it here. There's one thing I wanted to highlight. And I highly recommend people reading this. Uh, down here at the bottom where it starts with the amplifier does not have protection against excessive input power and such the responsibility will be that of the user not to overdrive it. The part of this paragraph I want to focus on is the best performance of the amplifier will be obtained if the amplifier is operated at just less than full output which should be achieved with about 25 watts input. So they're saying the amplifier will, you'll get the best bang for buck with 25 watts. It may do less power, but it's gonna run cooler. Just something to point out. Like I said, highly recommend reading the little booklet that comes with it. Okay, so four minutes of uh, jibber jabber. Let's get into uh, brass tacks here if we will and uh, show you what this thing actually does. We're gonna start by measuring the power that we're putting into it. <clears throat> 50 watts, uh, middle scale. This is just gonna be a dead key. It was about 2 watts. Audio, audio. Swinging 10 watts average. And then we'll just go to PEP. Audio, check, check. Audio, check, check. Audio, check, check. Audio, check, check. Audio. Just over 35. So we're going to be in the safe zone. 
Uh, we're just going to intermittently be testing it. So we are going over by a couple of watts, but uh, that's not going to make or break us. We're doing about 37 or so, it looked like. So now I'm going to put in a 1,000 watt slug or element, if you will. I know somebody's going to say, hey, a slug is a slimy thing that crawls around on the ground. Uh, I call them slugs, proper name, element. So 1,000 watt element in here. Uh, we're just going to come over here, power the amp on. The fans kick on, nice and quiet. You can't, can't hardly even hear these fans running. Uh, first thing we'll do, we're on high power, so we want to get a uh, test of how much current it's drawing. 14.6 uh, amps. <clears throat> I know it says seven, it reads a tenth high. Uh, so let's give it an audio and see what it draws. Audio. Audio, audio. Hello. So what, 26 amps, 27 amps. Now I will tell you, they recommend a 60 amp power supply for these. Um, Let's see if it's any more accurate on the 40 amp scale. I had it up on the 400. It may show a little more. Hello. So 27 amps on there. They recommend a 60 amp power supply. If you're running it on sideband, it will probably draw uh, more current. Um, if you run it with a sideband radio, uh, it will draw more. But uh, anyway, that's what it's drawing with the unit in hitting it. Uh, of course, if you hit it with a different radio, it might draw more. Um, but let's check the output on it <clears throat> as I sling my microphone across the table here. Uh, 1000 watt slug, we're looking at the bottom scale. So we got a 60 watt carrier with that uh, 2 watts going in. Hello, uh, you. Hello, uh, you. About 190, 180, 190 average. Now we're only putting 10 watts average into it. And uh, this is PEP, uh, bottom scale still. Hello, radio, hello, radio, hello, radio, audio. 500 on the dot, guys. Hello, audio, 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 audio. So it's doing exactly what they say it will do with the exact amount of drive. Let's go to low power. Obviously, our dead key drops way on down. Audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, audio, check, check, audio, check, check. 200 watts PEP, and then we'll go to medium. Audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. Oh, what is that, about 350 or so? Audio. 350 watts. Uh, if you guys want to know what it draws on low, hello. 15 amps so draws a uh, 27 28 amps on high uh, 15 amps on low and uh, that's all she wrote guys I don't even know if you can hear that delay but uh, it's working properly uh, but there you go guys that's the RM Italy 703 Terry I appreciate your patience man sorry it's took me a couple days I have been very busy. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but I will get this thing shipped out for you. Just want to take time to get a video done on it first. Questions, comments, complaints, shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you. Bye.